you know, but um, yeah, he's actually um, sent. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, Pastor Tarofi is in the house. <laughs> come on, come on, put your hands together. You can do more than what you're doing. When I saw him, I wanted to give the mic to him. <laughs> I said that I need to rest. Hallelujah. Pastor Rafi is a pastor, you know, and uh, currently he's a pastor with House on the Rock, the refuge in Abuja, you know, and, um, you know, very, very strong source, help, and support. You know, you know, he's, he's a son in which my heart is well pleased. <laughs> Thank you. We're honored to have you, sir. Missed you. Missed you plenty, you know. Um, I'm going to bring a word. Um, I would have loved that I have a lot of strength, <laughs> you know, but um, however, I'm going to um, bring a word that will be relevant to what God has place in my heart and as to the charge that he actually wants us as a family or individual as we move into 2024 and the years ahead. You know, it's a new season that is about to open, you know, and God has a solution for perilous situation and moments. And most of the time when things are so tied up and difficult, watch out. Because God is about to elevate people to the place of influence and relevance. Yeah, I told somebody who want to clap, come on, put your hands to, you know. You know, um, it all depends on what you focus on. And anything that you focus on becomes bigger. You know, but anytime you have an effectual door, there will be adversaries. You have a responsibility to either focus on the door or focus on the adversary. All right. When you focus on the adversary, it's going to blur. All right. But if you focus on the door, there is a focus that once you hit it, every other thing falls into place. And so today, this um, night, I'm, I'm going to um, take my time and then talk with you. If you miss morning, I think a lot of things I'm missing. Go listen to it again. You know, but uh, this night, my, my thrust is actually based on what God has been placing within my spirit I think for the past, I can say six months, you know, as I was thinking about moving into the year 20, you know, 24. God is good to us. When we came into 2023, you know, with a lot of excitement and whenever there is a release of a word, there will be a challenge towards it. So we decree that Zayf Haru, you know, and I stood up in the old auditorium and said that we're going to do changing your world in this place and all hell you know broke loose with the economy and everything you know but once there is a word that is released you know god also goes into work to make sure that none of his word fall to the ground and you are actually seated you know in a miracle right now <laughs> So I will actually want you to know that based on the character of God, if God says a thing, he will do it. And I don't know where you are, you know, you know I could feel the pulse, you know, of people in this place, you know, uh, delayed desires, dashed hopes, you know, pain. You know, but if God has promised you, he is going to do it. And God is actually trying to tell you that I'm going to, I'm about to give you another 365 days in which you're going to see me walk in your life. Delays are never denials. 
and that which he has promised you, he's actually going to release it, you know, in right time. What we're going to do is that I'm going to take you through the word and then we're going to praise God into 2024. You know, and as we're praising God into 2024, you're going to just drop. And I know that a lot of you are here with your desires. So you're going to drop your desires, you know, and we're going to pray on those desires and release our faith. Knowing that if there are people that can pray, there is a God that will always answer. Immediately we do that. In the moment of the praise, you know, because I don't, we don't intend to stay here at 12.30, at 12.20, we should be out. You know, pastors and elders will be on the aisle. You just come, they are going to anoint you, you know, and release you into the air. You know, however, we're not going to take communion this night, but next Sunday, you know, you know, bring everything that is around you and let's come and then partake on the table of blessing, the first, you know, you know, in the year. Is that okay? I say, is that okay? If you have your Bible, I want you to open to First Chronicles chapter 4 and verse 9 to 10. First Chronicles 4 and verse 9, you know, to, to 10. You know, Jephthah, when you guys were doing, I, mean, I think your bass was excessively high. All of these speakers were moving. <laughs> you, know, you know, you need to please check it, <laughs> you know, so that uh, we don't have uh, casualties here. And Jabez, Jabez, my elder brother's name is Jeban Kauni, so, you know, some people call him Jabez. <laughs> <laughs> we call him Jabez. And Jabez was more honorable. I want you to underline the word honorable than his brothers. Um, I would prefer New King James, if you have it. I would prefer New, New King James. And his mother called his name Jabez, saying, because I bear him with sorrow. Verse 10. And Jabez called or prayed to God of Israel. And he said, Oh, that thou wouldest bless me indeed. That thou will enlarge my coast. I want you to give me a new King James. Give me new King James. My borders, my territory. And enlarge my territory that your hand will be with me and that you will keep me from evil that I may not cause pain. So God granted him his request. All right. In New King James said, now Jabez was more honorable than his brother's. And his mother called him Jabez, saying, because I bore him in pain. Next verse. And Jabez called on God of Israel, saying, Oh, that thou would bless me indeed. And enlarge my territory that your hand will be with me, that you will keep me from evil, and that I may not.
cause pain. Five prayers. And this is actually going to be your prayer all through 2024. And the Bible says that, and the Lord granted him his request. I want to speak to you, our collective destiny, you know, on just simple uh, title, Enlarge My Territory. Look at your neighbor and say, neighbor, I'm tired though. <laughs> God has to enlarge my territory. <laughs> Look at another neighbor again and say, neighbor. Say, na say neighbor, neighbor, neighbor. God has to bless me indeed. God has to enlarge my territory. God has to allow his hand to be with me. Uh, in 2024, God must keep me from evil. Oh. <laughs> Come on, let's put our hands together. Someone said that, I, you know, I'm going to preach for over an hour, so I'm going to take my time and talk, right? <laughs> um, someone said that there is actually very little difference between people. But that little difference that is between people actually is a great deal of difference. You know, you, you're going to look at two people from a same mother, but somehow someone. But when you look at their life, in this, you might think it's a little different, but the little different, because one degree shift will determine whether you're going to end up in Chiquila or you're going to end up in Heathrow. <laughs> <laughs> Jabez doesn't actually stand as tried the Old Testament patriarchs like Moses, David, Joshua. In fact, there are some of you that I don't know how far you've gone in your Bible must have never heard of the name Jabez. Some must have never, ever read Chronicles. You know, because I don't know about you, when I started into the Bible, there are some chapters that, man, <laughs> I, I just don't want, <laughs> you know, I would just jump. There are some that I love. <laughs> there are some. Chronicles, this one. <laughs> and, and so you're going to find him Hiding in the least read section and of one of the least read books of the Bible. And God told me to tell somebody that he is actually taking the obscure and he's bringing them to the open. Some of you that are covered, not actually known. Something is about to come on you and that you are going to comfort to the forefront. When you read the first nine chapters of First Chronicles, they are actually taken by, with the family tree of Hebrew tribes, beginning with Adam and proceeding through thousands of years of Israel return from captivity. When you come to chapter four, you're going to step into a descendant of Judah. And then you're going to be open into names, plethora of names, Hezron, Perez, Kami, Hor, Shobai. And <laughs> names that some of you, you, you know, you know, they just, you know, I, I know, I know somebody, Hezron, Yabu, the Bible called Vum, he saw Hezron, Yabba, my arrows, and I Hezron, you know. <laughs> and 40 names moving in that chapter, suddenly a breakthrough showed forth. Like an outlier. And 
There are some of you that are not known. Nothing about you, your family not known. But something is going to come on you this night. And you are going to sh- come forth to the surface. The Bible said that I'm not down. Jabez is more honorable. The name Jabez, though in this place, the Bible said that it's called sorrow, but the original meaning is pain. And can you imagine um, you're, 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 you're being called by the name Wahala. Wahala Zomana, Zohala Jeke Kaorua. Kai Wahala Kai Sauri, you know. You know, you know, pain. And whenever you, I mean, growing up, name, pain, pain, run, pain, come. The impact on your self esteem is excruciating. You know, sometimes name defines you, position you, lock you up. The impact on your confidence, the impact on your relational currency, nobody wants to jive along with pain. Everybody wants names like favor, grace, faith. Am I talking here? Christian, you know, Isa, joy, everybody, tarofi. <laughs> So to grow up with a name, pain will have scarred, damaged, tarnished, stigmatized, ostracized, decimated his sense of having a future. So right from the beginning, he is starting with a negative. He's starting at a zero, nothing that actually assisted him because you have to understand in Hebrew culture, the act of naming a child is prophetic. You don't just wake up and then call somebody anything. When a name is given to a child, It was actually the explanation of their history and the declaration of their destiny. They are actually trying to say that this, you know, is what some might be the uh, explanation of history. And the parents will forget to give you the declaration of destiny. You know, it's not the kind of names that we, you know, you know, um, I know, you know, you know, um, you know, they say Wambula, Yaje, Kasua, and then TV Sunkawa Doya, Akache, me Akache Doya, Yako, Mayaba, Mayaro, Sasuna, Doya. You know, Kokuma Kawunera, Tavia Sunashi Manja, because if you told the Kawi and Dili, and you can now we're gonna come on, come on, have the black man here. Come on, put your hands together. But the, the Hebrew culture, they don't just name you when they are naming you, they're actually talking about your history or activating your destiny. And sometimes the history might be released, but the destiny, my sound is good anyway. So, so Rachel. In childbirth, out of pain, a child was born and she named him Benoni. And Benoni means the son of my sorrow. Explanation of history. And then she just gasps and then Jacob said, no, this guy will not be attached with something negative. There is a future. We're going to declare his future. He shall be named Benjamin, the son of my right hand or the son of power. Um, So Jacob said, this is going to be the declaration of destiny. And so Jabez's mother, we, we don't know, you know, where the pain came, you know, because we are not told about the father. And that might give you the clue to where the pain, you know, is coming. And she calls him pain. And she was explaining his history. And she was, and by calling him that, she was 
you know, incarcerating his destiny. Because she never declared anything about him. And so he grew up, tied up, you know, to something that he has never rehearsed. Pain, waking up, pain, rising up, pain, making fun on a day. You know, she locked off his destiny based on what she called him is that she created a boundary around his potential and strangled any dream that is in the inside of him that could ever ever happen by naming him pain but the devil is a liar somebody that life and situation have locked you up uh, marginalization has kept you this is how far you can go God told me to tell you that your release is here because the devil can some of you that you are scarred in your mind and things have not been the way you expected family line bad and life is messed up God told me to tell you something is about to turn in your life because there's something about where you're coming from uh, there's something about a contact with the God that holds tomorrow and because he holds tomorrow I know that my tomorrow is going to be okay and 2024 is going to be divine for me so that I can step into everything come and put your hands together if you understand what I'm talking about hold the hand of your neighbor pull it like you want to pull it and say neighbor something is about to change in your life so based on that the bible says because now you just can I think I, oh, you just jump on a name and there is nothing ever told about him but just one thing the bible said that he was more honorable than his brothers so the question will be asked. You know, by the way, I think I preached this in is it 2012 or 2013. In what way was he more honorable than his brothers? Because we know nothing about him. The only thing that we have known about this guy is that he prayed. And, <laughs> and so what this place is actually telling me that prayer will differentiate you and set you apart and mark you for a divine intervention. There are some of you that you just walk just like that. You are not a prayer, nothing. This guy, ostracized, kept, but the Bible allows us that he prayed. And the only thing we know about him that shifted in his life was that he prayed. Prayer will change your life. He was more honorable because he prayed. He was earmarked, set apart for divine intervention because he prayed. He was released from the pain of the past because he prayed. The reason, because typically when, you know, people with low self-esteem and distorted images, you know, when you meet them, um, you know, they pray for little things. You know, the, 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 the confusion about this guy was the magnitude of his prayer. The size of his prayer. Where did he get the unmitigated goal and audacity to pray this kind of audacious prayer? You know, when you grow up with low self-esteem, uh, you know, you know, you know, you know, where we are coming from, you know, covered us and allow us to pray low prayers. No, 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 no. I know the reason you're, you're coming from a village that has messed up your life. Uh, but this guy with the pain, look at the bowl of prayer. Because he knows that if he can pray, there is a God that is bigger than where he is coming from. Don't pray out of your situation. Pray based on your future. And so when you meet people, most often they are going to settle for little improvement. Just kabani, just aiki kawai. 
God, if you just give me a job. <laughs> and meanwhile, God is having big things, but you just give me a job. I, I've been unemployed for too long. God, just a job. But I need my That's the kind of prayer that you will expect from Jabez. From someone that is ostracized, categorized, marginalized, and mislabeled. I'm actually bringing a right word. You know, coming from the north with all kind of marginalization. Schools, you can't penetrate. Jobs, appointments, you cannot get you know, appointments, you know, take all the universities, higher institution in Adamawa State, all headed, you know, by, I don't want to call the name so that you don't say that I'm a bigot, you know, things, you know, our sons rising up with first class, when pulled apart, I was talking with, you know, a brother in his department, somebody with a third class, because he is from a set, was released into the department, all kinds of things, and you are never expected to come to the front from your name you're marginalized from your tribe you're set apart from where you're coming from the devil is a liar but God told me to tell you the forgotten are about to go to the front you know, because it's not about I'm not talking here but if you can pray God is about to set things apart baby we taught them how to read and write but look at now they are holding the places where we're going to go to school but the devil is a liar you know when you go on to the every place they are holding somebody said they are kind of wise yaka baby now why is it because that's what God told me to tell you God is about to change your story and the you're about to rise up from your zero to your hero. You're about to move from the back to the front. 2024 is going to be cataclysmic. And there will be obstruction, there will be upturning because somebody is about to go to the front. Come on, put your hands together if you understand what I'm talking about. Ah, you know, it's been long. No governor from a Christian sect. We have the population. We are the one, but they said that Kazona and then this is what you read. This is what belongs to you. And even some of our people, they have to unguru. The devil is a liar. You don't bow to nobody. We bow to Jehovah. And Jabez is more honorable because he prayed. If there can be people that can pray, we have a God that can answer. And somebody is about to bake the heavens are uh, torn the hands of God. Uh, somebody's about now again in Kirikikua. By the time Kana Birchi Bakasani Ba oops, God is about to take one up and place them. Uh, and he's about to now again. Uh, there are changes in the atmosphere. 2024 tables are changed, names are being moved. Uh, Somebody is about ah, I will upturn and upturn until you are placed in the place that I called you. Uh, come on, put your hands together. Already in a gym, he come over in Gigi. In a gym, balloon, 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 balloon. In a gym, what? Ah! I say, ah! Ne baya zasu zama na faruko, and na faruko zasu koma baya. The ostracized, the Jabez is arising. Uh, the forgotten are rising. Uh, 2024 is about to take you from the back. Ah! Ah! Yes! It's not going to be by might nor by power. It's going to be by the spirit of the living God. Uh, Who? 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 So when you when you meet people that are ostracized, marginalized. No wonder, look at how you are moving. Low self esteem. Kawe anatefia kawe anaroko, you know, slaves on horsebacks, princess striking. And all kinds of things happening. 
you know, we, we, have a, we have a minister of education. Somebody's about to move from the back to the front. <laughs> you see, because we're alive, I, I can be saying a lot of things. Uh, that'd be a thrilling knack. <laughs> So they will settle for little improvement. And, and then when you meet the marginalized poverty, and so poverty spirit, the Ashi Gesu. You know, and so, and so that's the prayer you expect from Jabez. But you see, based on this story, it's not the fact that he prayed that set him apart. Because every household prayed. Everybody, it was actually the magnitude of his prayer. It's the size. Because in order for you to pray that size of the prayer, you got to believe some things. And the first thing that I believe that you have to believe is that you have to believe that where you started in life doesn't determine where you're going to end in life. You know, you have to believe that your past cannot define your future. Oh, I'm about to shock you because where I started in life doesn't determine where I'm going to end up. Some of you are going to look at where I'm coming from and look at where I'm going to be in 2024 and you can connect the two because where I am coming from can never be compared to where I am going. So you have to believe that a bad start doesn't equal a bad finish. That's why you have to be careful how you handle people. Look at your neighbor and say, be careful with me. I will shock your world. And so I don't know who I'm actually talking about, but it's time for you to believe that because, you know, you know, you know that kind of mindset is going to elevate the size of your prayer. If you will simply believe that a bad start doesn't automatically, you know, mean a bad finish. You cannot make a conclusion of my life based on, you know, you know, what had happened to me in 2023. You know, you know, the pain, you cannot conclude that that's going to be the continuation. You know, you can have a bad start and a great finish. And so this guy, he had to believe that in order, you know, you know, for him to pray that kind of a prayer, this kind of psychological belief has to come on him. He had to know that where he comes from does not define him. You're not your village. You're not your pain. You're not your mistakes. You're not your failures. Uh, and and, and you know, I was listening to someone said that first in class doesn't mean first in life. And last in class doesn't mean last in life. <laughs> because time and chance are about to happen to people. Come on, put your hands together if you understand what I'm talking about. Too often when you meet people, you know, you know, you know, uh, you know, they allow themselves to be defined by where they are coming from. You know, your tribe, you know, there are some because of the world, they are bold and bodacious. You know, you know, but where you're coming from and when you meet them, they allow themselves to be defined by what they have come through. And some of you, your mistake has quarantined you. And some people have the unmitigated goal. And said that based on this, you can't go there. And there are some people that are here fallen and can't get up. But the hand of the Lord is not too short. So Jabez had to believe that where you start does not define where 
you end. The second thing that you have to believe for him to pray this kind of gangantious prayer. You know, that he had to believe that people's opinion were not the truth of him. That people most often are going to get it wrong about you. And there are some people here that are tied up with other people's opinion, but maybe you don't know me. So in order to pray that kind of a prayer, Jabed had to believe that perhaps my mother got it wrong. Perhaps the situation got it wrong. Perhaps, you know, the, the, you know, the opinions of people about me, they said, because I had a baby at the wedlock, I'm not going to get married. Perhaps they got it wrong. But if I if I have a struggle in this situation, perhaps his mother, maybe, just maybe, have got it wrong. Perhaps she calls me stuff that is incompatible with my prophetic destiny. You know, because let me announce you, there is one person that has your future in hand. And that's the God that created you. And so everybody that is saying their say about you, that's their say so. But it is only God that has the final say so. Let every man be a liar. Am I talking here? Let God be true. I remember rising up in school. Oh, no, no, look me. Said, you will not amount to nothing. I, I said, just look at me and watch. The devil is a liar. You know, by King Kayesari Guntunkashi. And God is about to turn situations around. And the people that have opinion about you, ostracize you, are going to say, Cook. why? Because God is about to shock them. Come on, put your hands together. And so Jabez, perhaps I'm going to go beyond her expectation. Perhaps I'm going to go beyond daddy's expectations. Perhaps I will go beyond mommy's expectations, brother's expectations, teacher's expectations. How many of you, I don't know about you, but I was there. Teachers told me nothing, but somebody's about to shatter the expectation of devils. Nothing good will come out of you. Before I got my appointment in Futi, I was working with a school, and um, you know, I, so I went to the proprietor. I said, "I'm quitting." He said, oh, dude, "Look at you. You will never amount to anything." You know, that's a big guy talking to me. I look at him. I say, "Just watch me." <laughs> am I talking here? I know because he that is joined to the living, you're not hearing what I'm talking about. You can say that to somebody that doesn't have a hope, but you don't say that. And I want to believe that you have a contact with God. And when you have a contact with God, no weapon formed against you shall prosper. Perhaps I can exceed the expectation of people that are around me, of my neighborhood, you know, you know, in your village, and perhaps you can break the status quo. Everybody, you say, bule, but somebody is about, because a king is about to show forth in the place where nobody ever thought anything good. They said, I am pain. I don't believe that. Is there anybody in this place under the sound of my voice? It's about to cancel the expectation of naysayers. Cancel the expectations and voice spoken by people that have authority over you. Parents, uncles, brothers, neighborhood. Cancel the expectation of wicked, manipulated people. Maybe, just maybe they are wrong. And I have good news for you. They are wrong. They say I am pain. I don't believe that. I believe you, Lord, can change my story. I believe that my story can change. And that's why everybody is in this place. We don't want the repeat of where we are coming from. We believe that something is going to change. The life that we went through has not just been it. We believe that the trajectory of our life can turn for the better. And if you're here looking at me, you have to believe that for yourself. 
you have to believe that your story can change. God cannot just be giving you years after years to repeat the pain of yesterday. You have to believe that your health can change. You have to believe that your financial story can change. You're not going to end like this. You're not going to, am I talking here? You can be a statistic. The Bible says that I'm going to bring you out so that I can take you in. If you're not in, baby, God is not yet done with you. Don't die in the wilderness. Don't be a statistic. Something is about to change. You have to believe it. You have to believe that your business story can change. Come on, put your hands together. You have to believe that your professional story can change. You have to believe that your story can change. You must believe that. You must look at your neighbor and say, neighbor, you must believe that. Uh, high five your neighbor and say, neighbor, you got to believe that. In fact, let's do it again. Push the care of the person in front of you. You say, you got to believe that. The fact that things, you know, are the way they are doesn't mean that they are going to be like that all my life. I believe that something will change. And chances are things are about to change. Just 12 o'clock into 2024. God is about to break limitations. He's about to come and put your hands together. He's about to step in and turn things around. I just believe it. How many, of, how many believers do I have here? I, I saw a new trend on, you know, you know, on Facebook, they're writing followers, you know, but we, you know, we are hashtagging believers. How many believers do I have here? You know, things are about to change on the full crop of believers. Uh, I believe it. I believe, I believe I'm not going to end like this. I believe that my latter days are going to be better than my former. I believe that God is about to, I believe it. I, I believe it. I believe it. I believe that I'm not going to stay in that village. I'm going, I believe it. That the job I'm looking for, God is going to do exceedingly, abundantly, above what I've ever asked, thing or imagined. I believe that this... Ah, I believe it! I believe it. I say, I believe it. I believe it. I don't know whether I'm the only one. Uh, but look at your neighbor and say, I believe it. I believe it. Uh, I believe it. I believe it. I believe it. I believe it. Look at the neighbor again and say, I believe it. Hold the hand. Pull it like you want to pull it up. Say, neighbor, I believe it. I believe it. I believe it. Things are about to change. My story is about to change. My future is about to take turn for the better. I believe. Your story can change and you must believe it. Do you know what? Nothing to lose. I just believe. And if you can believe all things. There's a divine intervention that changes your story. There's a divine intervention that Changes the trajectory. Allah ubangatankua. There's a divine intervention that shatters the expectations of people. You know, there's a divine, you know, intervention that will change your name. You know, from bad luck to good luck. Jabez had to believe that all of that for him to make his prayer, <coughs> and he prayed. This big, bold, audacious prayer. The first prayer. Oh, that thou will bless me indeed. You know, somebody might just be, you know, you know thinking that, but you see, what attracted me is the indeed part. Is the indeed peace that takes this prayer to another level. Because a lot of people here, you know, you know, are asking for blessing. Just bless me. You're blessed. You're blessed and highly favored. Blessed. And, the, you know, what we mean is just your feeling of being blessed. And so when you begin to mention that you're actually speaking to the ethereal, non-measurable, untangible sense of goodness. I'm blessed. That's not what I'm talking about. How are you, bro? I'm blessed. I'm blessed and highly favored. Broke. So some people have limited the blessing to a feeling. 
I'm feeling down, man. You know, how are you feeling? Well, I'm feeling blessed. But blessing is not a feeling. And what this means, you know, it's not that I feel good. Jabez said, what I am praying about has little to do with feeling good factor. I want God to bless me indeed. Come and put those hands together. In other words, I want you to make it tangible. I want you to make it visible. I want you to make it undeniable. There's a blessing that is going to come on you in 2024. Haters are going to stand still and say, Cook, the devil is a liar. Because Zasuji is going to be a tangible thing. You know, you know, you know, you know, one thing that God told me next year is there's going to be a release of an anointing this night for real estate lands and houses. You know, somebody began him a native adaba. It's going to be tangible. You've been trained. That's when that say, hey, shake your head. It's kind of no, it's the hand of God that came on her. So Jabez said, I want you to bless me so that when the Sudan Magana does you get it, ah! because it's going to be so visible, you can't deny it. It's not going to be a feeling, it's going to be something that I can tell you know, the form, the dimension, that can rule, that can measure a quick gradation. boom. The devil is a liar. <laughs> it's a blessing that is going to cause head to spin. And everywhere you look, blessing, blessing, blessing. I want you to make it tangible. I want you to make it so big that enemies can deny that you are the only one that blessed me. I want you to bless me. There's a rubber sakanin kapewa that and duma. When you see, you just know that something has touched him. You're not hearing what I'm talking about. Not the Yeah, I'm blessed. I'm blessed. But can I The devil is a liar. I want the indeed part. I want a blessing that is indeed so that you can see it and know that Kai. Come and put those hands together. I'm, I'm not talking about the ethereal. You know, I want you to make it so big. I want you to bless me that everybody is going to get to know that God steps into my life and bless me. I want you to do it that is undeniable. Something must have come on. Yes, I want you to think that. Because it's going to be so big that your head will spin. They got do guza. Tana tefia Dubai. Tana business on first class. They they yeah yeah haka. Tana kwana de mazaba. Kwana de mazaba. There is a hand of God that is coming on her. It is the indeed part. Come and put your hands together if you understand. He's going to take you from a merry clay and put your feet on a rock to stand. God is about to turn situation. Bless me, indeed. Yeah, you want to clap? Come on, clap. I just don't want a good feeling. I want you to change my story. I want you to elevate my life and take me beyond the expectation of misinformed individuals. I want you to shatter the expectation of wicked, manipulative people. I want you, as I go, the end. Am I talking in House of Refuge? You just know that Aquarius Bambanchi from where you used to be and where you are. And that's why you can say that the Lord is good. And indeed, he is good. I want you to bless me so that it's so manifest, so evident, so measurable that even my enemies cannot deny it. I want you to bless me that it attracts wicked people to God. Am I talking here? Come on, put your hands together. I want you to separate me. And God told me to tell you that in 2024, there is going to be a separation between the darkness and the light. The blessing is going to be so evident. I want you to be so, blessed, so manifest. Bless me indeed. I don't know. Is anybody here looking for the bless me indeed here? Come on, just wave your hand. 
I want God to bless me in such a way <laughs> that even my enemies, even my foes that came up to eat up my flesh, when they see the blessing, they are going to stumble and fall. Because what do you think will make them stumble and fall? Can I get my icon? I know is the glory of my blessing. You know, hear what I'm talking about. You know, you know, they've written you of concluded. Oh, that thou may bless me indeed. Indeed literally means in doings. I know the Gen Z knows the doings, right? You know, but I'm not talking the doings that you are doings. I'm talking about the doings of the blessings of God. So that what I am doing, make it flourish. What I touch, indeed, literally means in the doing. What I'm doing, make it prosper. Make everything that I'm doing turn to gold. In other words, if I'm in it, make sure I win it. Come on, put your hands together. So Jabez is talking to God, said that God, I, I actually want to do a thing that they say I cannot do. And I'm about to try something that is beyond my station. I'm about to aspire to build something that people like me are not supposed to build. You know, this because I'm I just want a in deep part. Because I just have the audacious faith that God can do everything and anything. Bless in my doing because you know the Bible said the blessed is the man that walks not in the counsel of the ungodly, no standing in the way of sinners, no seated in the seat of scornful, but his delight in the law of the law. In the law he meditate day and night. He shall be like a tree planted and whatsoever in doings shall prosper. In 2024, I want my doings to prosper. Come on, put your hands up. The ungodly are not so. They are driven by the chaff. They are not going to stay in the habitations of the righteous. In other words, the psalm literally said that there's a difference between blessing and curses. And I want to step in the blessed path. And Jabez knows the difference. And he said, bless me Indeed, he knows the difference that, you know, you know, there's a difference, you know, you know, the blessing, you know, is in Genesis 1, Genesis 2. The curse came in Genesis 3. And before Genesis 3, all we had is blessings. But after the fall of man, the curse came in, in the sweat of your brow. So the curse is called sweat equity, you know, is sweating to eat, sweating to survive and a farmer to go higher and sweating and a kashajiki and Jabez said I've spent enough sweating to survive, I don't want to sweat bless me in my doings eliminate the cause step me into the blessing, I want to be blessed so that whenever I'm sleeping my money is working for me Bless me so that even when I am I'm again in look at your neighbor and say, neighbor is the indeed part, is the indeed part. I'm tired of trying and failing. And God told me to tell you that your failing days is coming to an end and your winning moment is about to begin. Come on, put your hands together if you understand. The second is enlarge my territory. This guy is crazy. The word territory, that's why in King James you saw the word coast. Another version will tell you borders. So, Territory means coast and borders. And coast and borders means boundaries. And so what he's actually saying is that boundaries are limitations. Boundaries basically tells you where you are free to go and where you are not free to go. And that's why, you see, 
in Adam Hour here, in the north here, there is a thing going around. And they are trying to tell you where you cannot go. How far you can rise. Your name is limiting you from where you are supposed to step in. You have the qualification and so boundaries is trying to limit you and how far you can go just by you walking in. Your dressing is canceling you. Your, your tie, your suit is telling you boundaries. And so Jabez was rising. There's a border, there's a coast, there's boundaries, boundaries, limitation, basically. And what Jabez is saying, my parents put a cross on me by setting boundaries on my life. And the boundaries they set is too small. And so he's saying that if I must fulfill my life, these boundaries must be shattered and it has to be enlarged. Because there is more to me than what meet the eyes. There is greatness in the inside of me. And but my people have set the boundaries. And you are trying to rise up boundaries. But God is about to break boundaries. Your name is not going to be a liability. You're actually your name is going to be a, an asset. So Jabba is saying that they give me this name and put small fences around my potential so that I can't go any further. You know, you're located. You know. And some of you have accepted and then you use your mouth because you see whatsoever you say will locate you and fix your landmarks. Why? So he said, God, I want you to tear down the fences and enlarge my territory. Somebody is about to go from two to four, five to ten, ten to twenty. Somebody is about to do something that in the whole of your village nobody has ever done. Somebody is about to step. You're not hearing what I'm talking about. Somebody is about to put the family on a limelight. Somebody is about to... Your name is about to be called in places that nobody has ever called. You're about to enter corridors of power. Enlarge! My territory. Tear it down because I have been operating within the expectations of people who are projecting their own pain onto my life. Projecting what I can do. They were misinformed as to my destiny. Identity. Therefore they projected you know their own pain on me. You know. Enlarge. It was not me that was in pain. It was my mother. But she carried the pain. Blocked my rising. Limited me. She projected her pain. Created boundaries around my life. Limitations are borders. And what limitations say that you will never have a degree. You will never succeed in business. You will never get married. Your marriage, even if you get married, is not going to work. You will never have a children. You will never move beyond this. You will stay within this neighborhood. You will never. You know, you will die in this place because they put boundaries about around you. But God told me to tell you that 2024 boundaries are about to be shattered. No, you're not hearing what I'm talking about. I say boundaries are about to be shattered. I say boundaries are about to be shattered. Enlarge. But Jabez said that I am rebelling against every border. I'm rebelling against every boundaries, against every limitations, every definitions, every consensuous lies, every constriction. I'm rebelling against it. I'm rebelling against everything that you thought I'm about to break. Things that you said I can't do. I'm breaking limitations. I'm about to do something that nobody has ever done. I'm about to change this trajectory. Enlarge! The pain is not on me. Why don't you? Why are you putting? I, I'm rebelling. I'm, 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 in fact, this night I'm raising rebels in this place. Come and put your hands together. 
And so God, I want you to, to enlarge my territory, enlarge my coast, enlarge my possibilities, enlarge where I can go, how far I can go, how large I can have, enlarge what I can do, enlarge. If they're calling names of big business, let my name be in it. Enlarge, enlarge what our tribe can do. Break it, move us to the... Enlarge my territory. Some of you, you will remember this message for the rest of your life. They told me, all my life, I can't do it. But God enlarged my territory. Zaki Aure, Zaki Rike Babyinki. And Aure Nki Zayi, your marriage go walk. In fact, your being go do. In fact, in 2024, Zaki Chi Bin Snaki. The devil is a liar. Come and put your hands together. <laughs> and one of the things that I found out, you know, is that most of the time, the reason why things are not happening in church is that we are preaching promotion and prosperity, you know, to people whose boundaries have been set by someone else. So while you're preaching promotion and prosperity, you know, is going ahead of what other people have set their boundary. And then when they speak, you will hear. You just hear. Your boundaries were set by someone projecting their pain. And they make the fence so high that you can't even see through and understand what you can become. But this night, God is about to break the fence. And he's about to give you a peace, clear view of what you can become tomorrow. Look at your neighbor and say, enlarge my territory. But if that is going to be, because what you're going to come across are not just normal fence people. Then you need the hand of God. I'm going to need the help of God to tear down this wall, to tear down these barriers. I will need the assistance. That's why if you're here, back at the Allah, you can't fight the giant. And one of the first things that will happen to you from tonight is to get married to the God of your salvation. So the third one, he said, that, let your hand be with me. In other words, if the giants are going to fall, you can't do it by yourself. You see, when you see the word hand, what does hand mean? You know, in Hebrew. You know, because God is a spirit. And he's everywhere. So, does spirit have hands? So, where, that's where the comparison. Now, you see, in theology... This is called anthropomorphic terms. Uh, that, that's not a big word. What, what that means is that you apply to God human attributes so that humans can understand him. So when, you, when he said that, you know, let your hand, he's talking about God, you know, his hands is always referring to his power. And so he's saying that if I'm going to shatter backgrounds, shatter barriers, shatter expectation, it can happen without the power of God. And when he said, let your hands be on me, he's asking for the supernatural assistance, the divine intervention, because the places that you're going to go in, suma suna sahi, but you need the hand of God. In 2024, it's listed not where it goes. It's like a wind. You can't define it. You will just see the effect. Some of you, Kafi Suhankara, you will be right in place. Because there is a power that is going to be behind you. There is a spirit that can stay in the palace of a king. Here in the conversation, while you are in your room, he will tell you what to do, how to prepare. The hand of God. Hearing what I'm talking about, you know, you no know, ten people will write the same thing, and I'm moving and chilling fights, and I'm but the hand of God will come on your own. 
you're not hearing what I'm talking about. You know, when I was brought to employed, you know, in footy, you know, and, and, you know, you know, and then they went to FCE, brought a most, you know, that name, you know, and he had a degree lower than mine. So they went into the place where the VC asked us to submit, removed my file, brought the name, of, the file of that guy, put it. You need the hand of God to overcome demonic manipulation. When the VC called, he said, no, but there's a name, the banner again. I can say, ah, she the one that no, I go when it's like call me B B. While they're trying to put you down, your name, the hand of God will cause you rise up. Because am I talking here? Let your hand, because where you're going, you need the power of God. Imba kaiba, imba shiba kamutu. And there are some of you here, you're just walking kaman kune kukai kanku. Imba kade yesu kalalache. Because the way life is going, where it's going, Jabez said it, the pain, the breakthrough, the barrier, I can break through. I need your hand. If your hand doesn't come on me. Gashi kana nanka wei yakwa hii. Haka susuna adua so biara. The derek hii kana wudin shen gear. Susuna jeng wani abu. The safe kana baitan kana snoring. Because I'm how to pray to God, but soon I jump abubwa. Because Katashi, hey, come if God be for me, zaka mutu. Can I nanka we lagwe lagwe? Jabez knows that what is coming, what is on me, the barriers, the curses. I need the power of God. If the hand of God doesn't come on me, I cannot stand it. Can I nanka we in your doings? Can I vibes, vibes, vibes? Like a GBs. <laughs> Don't end the like a when the like a breaking now. So soon the who and a bimeshanu and a tasser and a tips and a thing. Can you catch a shiko? Can you be a son church? But be a son pastor? But be a son inache me ne? You know second chronicles. Say me is it chorola ko chorola ko kome? You don't even know how to pronounce. You don't know Bible. Can I nanka we sakwai? So can I get a sacred in the Zaka Zaka Salwanta? The devil is a liar. Come on, put your hands together. You know, in 2024, we need people who are going in power. Let large my territory, but let your hand be with me. I need the faith of God. Ten fires. I need my own to rise up. I need a preferential treatment. Come on, put those hands together. I said, come on, put your hands together. I say, come and put your hands together. I say, come and put those hands together. Because if your hands is with me, I will not be intimidated by the obstacles that are before me. What I'm dreaming is bigger than, my, than me personally. So I need supernatural assistance, divine intervention. I need the hand of God to be on me. I need the hand. Hand of God. Imba don Hanum Ubangiji ba ya when it um chikila Hanum Ubangiji the devil. Hand of God. Hand of God. We should go and cana jigin cana dariana the hundreds of millions. Taina in Yola. How? Taina, you need the hand of God. Bagane bakoe kugua uvu. Nobody should define you. They are going to see your effects. They are going to see your doings. Why? Because the hand of God. That's why people that got raised in Kagansu Badaka, when she went, when I made Biasan, when I soon entered, yes, the hand of God. Even when we were building, you know, you know, you know, you know that one, one pastor came, he came with his PA. Now people come on when he laborer. But the PA knows who I am. So, Pastor Yafara, Maganda Nuko, it's P on Kunya Kamaji. Because the, you, know, you, won't, you will not look it. Baby, but like a jugugua, but I'm like a garua ya chichika ramuka. Bahadari, who are caught in that the devil is a liar. Hey! Niko Kungani Abuna, and he talked in Lebra, and he's not okay, son. As I said, talk a German, I care, not your PNG. Muna Nachikin, Nachikin Kura, when he got the little elevator mo. I'm looking for the engineer. I'm not talking to you. 
Say, hey, Kira, architect, architect, yeche, why nega gani yeche, when ina konche, yeche, that's the guy. Yeche, oh, yo. Say, the gananko, naga enilda, na che, daddy, 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 the devil is a liar. You don't look it, but the hand of God is going to come on you. The power of God is going to come on you. The spirit of God is going to overshadow you. They look down on you, but you're about to step up and show forth the hand of God. Daddy, neche ya, neche olua, daddy, neche me, neche no, neche no, neche mule brori ne. The devil is a liar. Come and put your hands together if you understand what I'm talking about. Humble your hand, yourself under the mighty hand of God. So Jabez said, "Bless me. Let your hand be. I will." Keep on going if your power is with me. I can't move an inch. I can't step into 2024. I can't be arrogant. I need your power. I need your assistance. I can step at 12. I can't. I need your power. If your hand is not on me, nalalache, I need you like fish needs water. In fact, the geskia yaganka, geskia yache, don't kuma makaranta. Because you are everything. Come and put your hands together. And he said that you may keep me from evil. It's going to be your say all through. Because something heavy is beginning to happen right from 2024 and he's having a 12 year window the opening is beginning this night and it is only people that understand their God that can do valiantly and work strong I'm not talking about people that all the year back as what you say, cross over. Some of you are quite taba, aljuhu, are quite drug. Some of you can shagi, a kumbari, a gate, kum moving. Some of you can do the babe now, kum kuna so mugama, kuje kuk arasar. I'm not talking about the kaika baka samara, you anka baka. You know, I, I was there. The devil is a liar. I'm, I'm, I'm talking about. Jabez knows that the minute I try to break these burdens, break these barriers, I am going to attract criticism, jealousy, haters, skepticism, opposition. Kuku must stay if you don't want hell to break loose. Because the moment you start breaking barriers, hell is going to open. You think you are going to take the mountain just like that? I call gigashites there. The Anax, the mighty Kafa Fonsu, Yafosi, Gomashai, who say in Susan and Bin, the devil, in Kadonsu, the land tank as if Arasali. Kukuma stay. Kadakaje kept punching hornets. They pass all in back at the Allah. So I know. That when I break into breaking barriers, haters, criticism, skeptics, opposition, it's like the minute you try to escape your estate, the crabs in the barrel will begin to hold you. So he said, I've already moved to four. These guys, bust, they have not received the, moment, the memo that, <laughs> that you may keep me from evil. Okay, since that. <laughs> Sometimes when you're confined, how many of you are glad that you're spending time? When you're confined, you know, to a small space, small cycle of small minds, painful borders, coast, boundaries, and limitations. Sometimes you begin to think like that. That's why you see crabs. When you leave them, nobody goes out. In the devil is like, you're about to leave that barrel. Crab mentality is about to be shattered. 
Kwenye kwa kasi ya dance for komoto kasi kaje kau yangu akanuna kama kwa dukasi ya moja vum prelude and so when you are in that cycle when you start dreaming and thinking big in a big way and you start taking step in the direction they are going to grab you in fact you don't need principalities and powers you need neighbors friends and relatives they are all around you some of you you're binding demons your hell is around you because everybody wants you to stay stay where you used to be but god is about to change your estate come and put those hands together and so you don't have to worry those ones are going to be the first you you be shocked that the when students in Nigeria and time nani like got to father good word agita jengia so na so come a chicken chop the cow soon shiga haka but abumba boji boji bani fa you need god in back by hell will follow you all the rest of your life that's why i'm going to give you opportunity some of you you need to meet god and so he said the last one so that i cause no pain you see the way they rendered it in the in the bible is not actually in the original in the original it means i don't want to leave out their expectations of me it's not that so that no you know no no i don't want to you know lord bless me indeed break boundaries let your hand be on me keep me from evil because i don't want to leave the expectations of me and so what he is saying is that god i want you to do all of these things because i don't want to leave the expectations of these people on me there are people listen to me that want you never to succeed but god is going to carry a big marker and cancel their expectations because in 2024 the hand of god is going to be on you you're going to overrun the chariots you're going to overtake and chances are you're going to recover everything that you lost they expect me to fail i can fail They expect me never to rise above this. I'm going higher. Come on, you don't understand what I'm talking about. They expect me never to go into this place, but I'm going to. They expect me to be down and out, but I'm going to be up and in. Lord, never allow the expectations. And God told me to tell you that you're about to cancel the expectations of people. They look at you place bad words life nigeria the government every party the poor let them breathe they are looking they want you they have reduced you to running after palliatives uza maka manchikels ko when it talaka dey say my office yenzu here na give away Richard got net 10 million, 1 million, 1 million. And the kusa baji ngulana. Ko dang dishira dang aka samu chances are you are more than that God is about to cancel the expectations of people about you. It's more blessed to give. You're never going to be takers, you're going to be givers. And things are about to turn for your favor. Am I talking here? So Jabez, come on, na magana ngiki kwa. Look at your neighbor and say neighbor. Come on say neighbor 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 things are about to turn for the better you know can somebody help me i said things are about to be turn for the better you know my life is about to change if it wouldn't have happened i wouldn't have been here the fact that i am here is because something is about to happen can you help me hold the hand of your neighbor pull it like you want to pull it out and say neighbor you got to take a look of me because god is about to break expectations he's about to chatter can i 
have somebody on the drum. Uh, look at your neighbor and say, neighbor, things are about to happen in this place. Uh, it's not just going to be a new year. It's going to be a new me. It's going to be a new rising. It's going to be a new life. Lord, bless me indeed. Uh, come on, put your hands together. Say, yeah. Say yes again. And so God is about to turn things around. You have cried all that you can cry. Love all that you can cry. But the hand of God is about to come on you. Command one by one by one. It's going to be by the power of God. And in this year that you're going to enter, things that are going to shock you are going to happen in your life. The expectations of wicked people are going to be canceled. Death is going to be canceled. Answer. Uh, lift up your hands and say yeah say yes again uh, I'm not going to act like this uh, I'm going to be somebody uh, that is going to break barriers uh, I've cried for a long time uh, but God is about to step into my situation uh, and things are about to turn somebody say yeah say yes again uh, somebody I don't know who I'm talking to uh, but God is about to turn your name uh, from pain to joy uh, from ashes to beauty uh, God is about to deck you with ah uh, yeah yeah I say shout again I want you to go to 10 people and say watch me change 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 my mother called me pain my father called me pain set boundaries around me said I will never make it but God is about to turn things around somebody say yeah say yes again you're going to overtake the troops. Uh. You're going to live over a wall. Uh. They're going to say, Itache one now. Yes, come out the one by one here. You're the same person in the neighborhood. Uh. Same person in the primary school. Uh. Same person eating the kununga now. But God is about to bring his hand. Oh, yeah. Ah! Somebody say, yeah. Enlarge my territory. Number uh. But you say, I believe that where you started uh, it's not going to be where you're going to end uh, a bad start can never be a bad finish uh, something big is about to happen to you uh, life is about to become better come on clap your hands clap your hands everybody clap your hands I say yeah clap your hands clap your hands everybody clap your hands I say yeah Clap your hands, clap your hands, everybody. Clap your hands, I say, yeah. God is about to turn things around. Oh, that you may bless me. Indeed. Bless me. Until enemies, as you turn to be, in single blessing them. Bless me in my doings. Bless me until enemies just can be neighbors. Nika wan chan zino ne ch zino ne. Yeah, yeah, come on, yeah, change, yeah, change mana. Because rebels are rising up in this place. They're going to shatter the expectations of wicked people. 2024 will be the year that you will surprise wicked people. Come on, come on. They say you won't get married, you're going to get married. They, will, they say you're not going to get the job. You're going to get job plus plus. They say you're not going to get in Kirikikua. I say you're about to shatter the expectations of wicked people. Hallelujah. Necheba. Necheba. Your doings is about to get blessed. You're about to get blessed. Tunkusanka is about to get blessed. Kina said the Ridi, you're about to be a millionaire with Ridi. The Dembu, you're about to rise up. Because God's hand is about to come on you. And the thing that you never thought will blow you, your doings. Because whatsoever you do shall prosper. Your place of work can't move forward except you appear. 
in 2024 you're going to be the center of attraction you're not hearing what i'm talking about komize charke say i'm fed the guy i'm boiled the file naka but abu mbaya bo you are because the hand of god is about to come on you oh that you may bless me indeed and enlarge my territory in a some motor there god is about to give you motor chillery do 1990 is for emission am i talking here god is about to break barriers and limitations how many of you understand what i just said today just put the five prayers oh that you will bless me indeed come on put your hand on your head and, and declare say oh that you will bless me indeed i'm not talking about feeling i'm talking about tangible blessing i'm talking about gidaje adogire maitama a dubai a high sea you're not here in a magana gidaje you're not here what i'm talking about in a magana eh ya 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 when you soon as on rapture bob you say amana there is a blessing already oh that you may so people think that is a sakaka she get hell the devil is a liar you need more money oh i beg oh look at it and the bible said that god answered this prayer so god wants you to have tangible manifestation of blessing allah buai dagara misali my halitan sama da kasa answered this prayer let it the indeed is about to show on you i said the indeed is about to show on you 2023 has been rough for people tough for people god is about to wipe away the tears and indeed is about to step in and you're going to forget the pain of this year somebody is about to buy land and lands in fact it's part of the prayer while i was on my in the, in the afternoon you know you know there's an anointing that is going to come on this house it's going to be anointing for land properties houses tangible manifestation the second one enlarge some of you kufara budu ama na tell your neighbor masamu masamu in fact kaimu masi wurin nambe isaba wurin nambe isaba you know break boundaries break coast break expectation enlarge enlarge you can't enlarge in one place somebody enlarge 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 how far you want to go enlarge 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 my territory enlarge enlarge i say enlarge number 3 let your hand be on me I'm not going to call you out. But I'm going to give you opportunity. You can survive. In fact, some of you that are saying 2023 is tough, what kept you? Is because God is with you. You are about to cross into 2024. You can't survive without the hand of God. You can't have the hand of God without having him in the inside. No, oh, from the gallery and I I don't know. Maybe some of you have backslid that you've been in church, left church. You need the visible manifestation of God's touch. You need to draw near to him. I'm going to give you opportunity. You're not going to come. You're going to be there anywhere you are. He's going to get into you. You need the God factor. So there's somebody here, a young woman, a young man, you need God. You need the hand of God. 
you need the release of his spirit and you want to say pastor I want to know this God I want to come into relationship with him I don't want to move into 2024 without him if you're the one and you want to say pastor pray with me from the gallery to the main auditorium I want you to just wave just do like this for me just wave thank you just wave just wave thank you just wave thank you just wave just wave just wave just wave take that hand and just put it on your head just put it on your head I want everybody is going to join up with them because they are going to ab about to come into our family say Lord Jesus come into my life be my Lord let your hand come on me in Jesus name come and put your hands together and number four that you may keep me from evil evil number five that the expectations of wicked people will not come so that I cause no pain remember I told you that the meaning of this is that the expectations of people will not happen in my life I don't know but I feel so strong within me to tell I feel it that first are about to come forth from this place first in your place of war first in your neighborhood first in your village first in your in your tribe first in your family first are about to show forth first to do this first to build that first to have that first to rise up first to the first are about to show forth that's what i felt in my spirit and it's happening now so we're going to release into praise because this is 11 39 right yeah and we're going to go into and uh, is it Jeff that that like a regular numbers and it's not affecting everything like you know I want you to make tremendous power available some of you you can go around move around carry these five decree prayers and be seeing them hook up with the praise so we're going to praise into 2024 oh that you may enlarge me bless me indeed never allow the expectations of people to settle in my life and 2024 is about to happen to somebody here we're going to move into praise allow yourself lose yourself praise into that yeah governments are about to come on shoulders politics is about to open up to the church wisdom is coming into the body of Christ mountains are about to subduce themselves on the mountain of the Lord 2024 is going to be a year where the blessing is going to be in Indeed. Hallelujah. Amen. Are you ready?